In this video, I'm going to give you one of the most underrated route combinations out of the gun bunch tight end formation in the run heavy playbook. Now the run heavy playbook is the playbook that I put a bunch tight end ebook out uh, several months ago. If you want to get my entire bunch tight end offense, make sure that you join the Patreon. Uh, the link is going to be down in the description below. But wanted to kind of talk through just a, a route combination that I actually really like uh, out of this. And I actually think that the bunch tight end is kind of coming back into popularity uh, just with as we just get better receivers. And also with Hot Route Master, you can kind of do some things uh, from this formation. So anyways, without without further ado, we're going to be talking about inside switch. Uh, this play is, like I said, in, in the run heavy playbook. And there's really two setups I've got for you today. The first one is going to be a little bit more of an underneath passing concept. And the second one is going to be a little bit more of a vertical passing concept. So the first one is just simply mesh post. So what we're going to do is we're going to drag the slot receiver and we're going to drag this tight end just like this um, against man coverage. You can kind of quick throw that flat if they're not shading down. The other thing that you have, though, with this and the beauty of the formation it's just the alignment of bunch tight end. I really like it because it's like a compressed trip tight end formation, basically. Um, and so you're able to do some other some, some stuff with this outside receiver. One of those things that you're able to do is you're able to throw that post route. Um, that post route is super good. You can smart route that if you want it to go a little bit deeper. Uh, and then you have this kind of underneath mesh where your tight end drag or your route to your other receiver are going to probably be pretty decent at attacking man-to-man -man coverage. So... Really simple concept here against man. It's really good against man. Um, you see that the just random bumping in this game meshes one of the best ways this year to be able to consistently attack man coverage. And then the beauty of this is they basically have to use her. Um, they have to use her the the post. But you see again the running back and the flat route on the other side. They're going to pull zones out. So let's say for example that you are playing against zone. Even if they're shading their coverage underneath to try to take away, um, you know, like your drag routes, these flat routes are going to really open up these little pockets where you can throw these drags. And this is one of the most underrated pockets that you can throw uh, little drags, little crossing routes in. Most people don't realize this is what makes mesh so, so good. And if we were actually in real life running the mesh concept, they would actually settle up and into those little pockets right there but those little pockets are so good because they funnel the yellow zones underneath and when the you know when the yellow zones get funneled underneath then the beauty of the play becomes in this ability to high point this post in front of the safeties as you can see right there now that specific post out of inside switch is a little different than the slot apprentice um post route you'll see here i'll put the hot route master on out you see how that one goes a little bit deeper there are benefits to using that one that one's a little bit better and a little bit more reliable against main coverage whereas the second one that i or the first or the original post route number one you don't have to have an ability to be able to run it and number two um the route is still really good against man but it's also really good against zone um, as you can see. So pretty solid little mesh play, able to attack both man and zone coverage and really force your opponent into some type of like cover two style defense, which is going to lead us to our next play. Again, real quick, you can throw these these uh, drags in through zones. Um, it's one of the most underrated things this year. One other little pro tip, you can run it like this as well. So I'm going to slant Julio, especially this is more so for zone, um, but I'm going to slant the uh, Julio Jones, or you could do this, do it this way right here. This is fine. Um, and the beauty of this vari variation of it is the different depths at which the routes are going to get open. As you can see right there, they really give zone a hard time. Again, the basic variation that I did is the same mesh concept, but we're going to flat the slot receiver. We're going to slant that uh, inside receiver and then we're going to in route uh, the tight end and this just changes the timing and it's really good for uh, if your opponent's trying to hard flat or go to some kind of cover two because then you can throw that slant route over in that pocket because the running back will suck all the zones down so that's how i like to run the mesh concept i want to give you kind of another concept that i've been working on uh, that i actually really like this one specifically is uh, designed to attack zone or um, it can attack man but it's really designed to attack zone so what we're going to do here is we are just going to take this um, slot receiver Julio Jones we're going to put him on a post we're going to streak our running back and then we're going to slant our outside trips receiver now if you don't have the ability to put this guy on a post 
then just go ahead and put him on a little drag route or in route. That's fine as well. Uh, but what you're going to get with this is this running back streak is going to serve a really important purpose uh, with this corner route and the relationship between the two routes. So the first thing is that's important is if I would, let's say I run like a like a, a combo that looks like this, right? And I'm trying to flood the right side of the screen. You know, maybe I run it like this. The problem with this combo this year is the fact that the bumping is so bad and you see how the man coverage can play him relatively easily, right? So the solution or the fix is to basically make it so that the bumping doesn't happen. And that's where this running back uh, route becomes very effective. And then we also know that the motion out slant route is one of the most consistent check down reads uh, in the game this year. So again, you just want to freeform this to leverage. If he has leverage over the top like he did right there, I want to freeform a high ball up and over. If he has leverage to the sideline, then I want to, I want to do uh, a pass to the sideline. Now, the benefit of this is, let's say they're in zone, this running back streak, this is why you notice I moved the ball over here. If you run this with your tight end on the short side of the field, it's going to consistently cook zone. As you can see right there, that's a cover three. This is going to be a very consistent read for you if they are running any kind of cover two. Uh, so if they are running any kind of cover two, then you can easily just go to this concept as well. Uh, you'll see here that running back will distract the deep half defender, and you can throw that over the top of the cloud flat. And then the really the main route or the main coverage that can give this a little bit of trouble is cover four drop. Um, but cover four drop, by and large, you're still going to get kind of the same basic thing um, when that running back turns up. And then I can throw that, and I just want to come back to the – I want to come back to the ball or I want to possession catch that on the sideline. So, again, if it's cover four, it might be a little close uh, – a little bit closer than against like a cover three or a cover two coverage. But – Typically what I have found with this is I'm still going to be able to throw this. I just have to act back and get away from the KO as quickly as possible. Now on the back side of this concept, the beauty of this is I can set myself up to have a lot of different reads against man. One of my favorite things, um, if you don't like this flat route to Harold Carmichael, just put him on a drag. So it can literally look like this right here. This is pretty solid um, against man coverage because every route on the field pretty much with the exception of the running back route is going to get separation against man-to-man -man coverage. So you've got a lot of different options, a lot of different routes that are going to get separation against man coverage and you're still being able to attack zone coverage. Bunch tight ends, a ton of fun. If you guys want to learn my entire bunch tight end offensive ebook, maybe something to change things up here later in the year, the link is in the description for the Patreon. It's only $10 to become a member, and it gets you access to all of our Madden 23 offensive and defensive ebooks, as well as all of the updates. So head down to the description and go check out the Patreon page.